welcome back to Vintage Diecast Restoration. I've got another mail call up. Uh, it's actually Sunday instead of Saturday. I've been traveling for business. So first I've got uh, something from Master Keller. This I think was a uh, an eBay purchase, if I remember correctly. It's wrapped very well. Bubble wrap. Uh. Mac, what do you think's in there? What do you think it is? It's a bus. It's a bus. So this is actually a new matchbox. It's not a vintage. Um, this is from one of the new major packs. And since that is the logo for my channel, I wanted to pick up one of these. Um, so I think this was actually a Facebook purchase, but uh, I want to do a, a later comparison video to my vintage uh, Volkswagen buses and compare them to the new one that's out. So that was kind of a neat find. Um, up next, a little package from Walk, Wisconsin. Uh, for those of you that are collectors, you know who lives there. These are all uh, auction purchases from uh, the vintage Matchbox Live group. That's a Facebook auction group. So, let's see what do we got. For the first one here. That's a milk float. So I've got a few of these. Um, this is the Comer bottle float. This is the number 21. It looks like um, this one is in pretty good shape. Uh, it's got the black plastic wheels and. Um, Decals are really nice on this, a little bit nicer than the ones that I've got in my collection. So probably trade out. I, I know I've got this model, but I'll probably trade it out. And um, again, when I was uh, purchasing these, you know, you pay for the shipping for the box and uh, the cars are going seven, eight bucks a piece. Um, I'm going to pick them up. So nice, nice little find there. Happy to have that one. Next. Like a race car. Yeah, I got a little race car. So I've got a few of these. Um, this one looks to be in mint or almost mint condition. Uh, it's just missing the decals, and that is, <laughs> in the world of restorations, that's about the easiest fix that we come across. So um, pick this one up because it was just near perfect. Um, it's got all the wheels and tires. I don't think it has all the correct wheels and tires. These are a little bit bigger in the back and a little bit narrower in the front. But uh, if you remember from one of my previous mail bags, I just bought a big lot of a bunch of random wheels and tires. So I think I'll go through that collection and see if I can find some good ones in there for this model. And uh, we'll get some replacement decals on it and get that uh, restored. It'll be a nice, easy little restoration. Next, got a builder's supply truck. Um, I've actually done an earlier restoration on one of these, um, but that was the only copy of that that I had was the restoration. So this is an original model. Um, looks to be fairly dirty. Lots of little crusties there in the bed and the glass is a little bit dirty, but um, not terribly play worn. This one's uh, in remarkably good shape. So uh, pick that one up so I'd have a nice near mint original copy. So another good find. And then last. This feels like a, a Coke truck. Coke truck? Yeah, that's what I think it is. Could be. Oh, no. That's actually a motorcycle. So this one's in uh, a little bit rougher shape, um, especially you want to be really careful with that front wheel. It's um, it's a little chewed up, a little, a little damaged up there, but it's got both of the handlebars, those are broken a lot of times. And um, this is a nice original model. This is the harder to find orange trailer. Um, so happy to come across that in pretty decent original condition. So again, nice little find to pick up. And uh, when the auction prices are going good, um, I like to buy in bulk. So all good finds. Next, I've got a box. This is from Cameron Harris in Snohomish, Washington. So 
and this was, I think this was another eBay purchase. And again, a lot of times with the eBay stuff, um, as a kind of a tip, I like to find a model that I want, and if I can get an offer in on it or get a successful bid, um, after I've purchased the first one, I like to go back and see what other items that seller has because a lot of times if you message them, they will combine shipping. So that's what this was. So here we've Ooh, got... Looks like you don't have one of those. I do have a couple of these. Yeah. This is the Blue Circle Cement Truck. Um, and this one is in really rough shape. Um, you see a lot of paint loss, very, very play worn. We're missing the uh, center pillar there. Um, it's a black wheel model, so it's a little bit later. Um, but this I picked up because I thought it'd be a great restoration candidate. And uh, for those of you that know the prices on these, they are typically very expensive. Uh, and I think this one I purchased on a make an offer. And uh, I know I paid less than $10 for it, probably six or $8 for that piece. So another good find. And then last, I what, it what is. we got here. So this was actually the first piece that I purchased. Um, and on the surface, this looks very rough. It is. It's very, very play worn. Um, but for those of you that collect, you know why this is such a desirable model. Um, I have an earlier restoration video where I did a, a full restore on one of these buses and it was the yellow window model um, and that's the more common one. These clear glass, the clear window version of this model is exceptionally hard to find um, and as such is typically a lot more expensive. So um, I was able to pick this one up for a very reasonable price um, and the seller also had this model so I could combine shipping. Um, so that was a group purchase on those two just to uh, help me save a little bit of cost. So really, really excited about this one. I don't know yet whether I would do a restore on that or not. Um, again, it is a rare model. This one's pretty heavily worn. Um, so I'm kind of leaning towards probably doing a restoration on it. but. Uh, I really need to just check a few things before I, I decide because um, this is so rare and so hard to find. Um, it may be more valuable even in its play-worn condition just to leave it as is. Um, but I want to know what you, what you think. Uh, so leave me your thoughts in the comments below. Should I restore this or not? So that's going to do it for this mail call. Thanks so much for joining us th this week and as always. Don't forget, if you enjoyed this, to click that like button down here. Uh, click the subscribe if you want to keep up with this and all of our future updates. And thanks so much for joining us for another episode of Vintage Diecast Restoration.